How's it going guys? Welcome back to another one of our uh, 124 scale uh, die cast videos and uh, today we've got another one here by uh, Maisto of course. It is from the Pro Rods edition and these are the uh, Pro Touring die cast collection of course and this is a 1970 Chevrolet Nova SS Coupe. It's really hard to see on that label because it's sort of metallic -y. There's There's the label for you but it is really hard to see the name of the car on there but this car looks absolutely tough. Uh, it is obviously still in the box. We have yet to open it ourselves, and uh, it's got some, you know, you know, pictures on the back, of course. And uh, you can check out the car and the little windows in the side, of course, if you feel like doing that. But we don't feel like doing that, do we? We want to get this open and uh, check out this car. So we'll do that right now and check out this Nova. All right, so this is how the uh, Nova does pull out of the box. It just does come on that standard cardboard uh, base, of course, with a little bit of a backing at the the rear of it and uh, the uh, bonnet or hood and boot or trunk depending where you're from are kept kept up right in with these little plastic parts in the back and of course it is kept on by these little screws so what we want to do is uh we'll quickly get those screws off so we can uh, get this chevy nova in our hands all right we've got this uh, chevy nova finally in our grubby little hands of course and boy this does look very nice. It, this has got a real uh, pro stock sort of look about it, of course. I guess that's why they're called the Pro Rods. It's got the nice reverse cowl on the front there. Two-tone blue and silver, as you can obviously see. And this does look tough. It's got some great looking wheels and some, you know, the usual uh, disc brake uh, details there. The wheels do rotate really nicely. Well, they spin really well, actually. Uh, the, the underneath is the usual typical sort of, uh, you know, chassis with some minor you know, sort of uh, molded details of an exhaust and diff and suspension, but no actual components are underneath there. It's all just part of the base. And of course, no turning wheels or anything like that. But as I just showed, they do spin very freely and this is just pure straight line running. And uh, this does look very tough. We'll open the driver's door right away and have a bit of a look in there. Oh, it's got a roll cage in it as well. You can see the uh, bar just there. And it's got a nice fancy steering wheel and geez that looks really nice in there that looks pretty tough we'll close that door up uh, the lines are really nice got some beautiful lines on there we'll swing around to the back of it beautiful uh chrome work on the back there we'll open that uh rear there and have a little look it's got the fuel cell in there like they they usually sort of do the the paint actually looks reasonable underneath there, so they actually, you know, spent a bit of time and sprayed the, the paint underneath there. It does look pretty good, although it does look like there's a little bit of a blemish on the outside. Uh, we can never win, can we? But, um, look, overall, it's very, you know, very tidy looking unit. This thing just looks absolutely tough, though. I reckon it's cool. I'm pretty happy with it. This silver and blue combo looks really nice. We'll open the passenger door up. It is a little bit stiff. This is brand new. We open these up always new for the first time. It's got a fire extinguisher on the side there as well and the roll cage on that side and some racing seats in there. That looks tough. It's got some bottles inside there, probably NOS or something like that. We'll close that up for you. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> wow. Beautiful front uh, it's got the chrome work on the front, on the grill and the bar, as per usual. You've got to love the 60s and 70s. There's always plenty of chrome on these things. We'll open the, open the bonnet and check this heartbeat if I can get my sausage fingers to do it. There we go. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> Look at that engine. That is, that is absolutely mad. Man, imagine the power that thing's putting out. That is absolutely insane. Nice. It does have those larger sort of hinges and... The paintwork's all in there properly too, so this is actually done a little bit better than normal. I reckon it does look very nice. And that engine, Jesus, that is great. We'll close the, the hood down. Wow, that does look tough. This looks absolutely insane. Gotta love it. Well, I do. <laughs> no, that's cool, man. Definitely cool. All right, we'll wind this uh, video up. We'll put it on the deck. We'll see... She rolls nice and nice and beautiful. If uh, rolling these things is your thing, uh, if you like this as much as I do, hey, throw us some of those. If you can, uh, can be bothered, and hey, 
feel free to subscribe to the channel, of course, if you feel like doing that, if you want to check out more of our diecast uh, videos that we do on cars and also on all the other diecast and other stuff that we do on this channel. And of course, uh, you saw the photos at the start. You will check this out on the turntable without my grubby little fingers in the way. And you can check this out in a bit more detail after the conclusion of the video, of course. All right, guys, of course, thank you very much for spending your time checking out another one of our videos. I hope you did enjoy the content today. Um, this Nova is a killer car for sure. I love it. All right. Thanks once again for watching. You all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.